Continuing with the basic numeracy skills, let us look at this question. Kim and Rio travel to university together with Kino. So there are three people, Kim, Kim, Rio and Kino are traveling to university uh, together. They want to save money. The arrangement is that Kim, that since Kim lives further away, she pays two-fifths of the petrol expense and Rio pays one quarter of what's left. Okay, this is a uh, difficult sentence to uh, understand. So Kim, so let me draw a rectangle to explain this. So this is a, uh, this is the, let us say this is the expense and let us divide this into five equal parts. Hopefully I will do a good job. Mm. So half, so let me try, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so it doesn't, it's not exact equal, so each of them, let us, this is one fifth, this is one fifth, this is one fifth, one fifth, and this is one fifth. Now this is what, this is the petrol expense, we don't know how much is the petrol expense we can say this is whatever that is it's hundred dollars or five hundred dollars so this is uh, i'm divided i've divided this into five equal parts okay hopefully i'll make this smaller okay okay so i have not done a good job okay doesn't matter okay so let me make this straight okay so what is say, what is being said kim has to pay two-fifth of the petrol expense okay now we use a different color say kim has to pay two-fifth of this okay so uh, what percentage does kim pay okay so two-fifth you want to write as a percent two-fifth is four tenths okay doubling it and then that is same as 40 out of 100, which is 40%, as simple as that. What fraction is left for Kino to pay? Okay, now here the next part is, Rio pays one quarter of the rest. So, what is the rest if uh, Kim pays two-fifth? The rest would be three-fifth. So this is what, this is the rest, okay, so this is what is resting, what resting, this is what the rest of the petrol expense. But it is, Rio is not paying three-fifths, he's paying one quarter of what's left. So Rio, let me write here, Rio pays one quarter of three-fifths, okay, and off means I hope you understand one quarter of three fifth is three out of twenty. Three out of twenty is what uh, Rio pays. So as a as a person, let us express that as a person. Rio pays three out of twenty, which is twenty times what is hundred. Twenty times. 5 is 100, so you multiply the denominator with 5, so to multiply the numerator with 5. So that is 15 out of 100. So Rio is paying 15% of the total petrol expense. So this is, so let us write that again. So Kim is paying 40%. Okay, Rio pays one quarter of the remaining which is 15 percent that's what we saw so what's the total of kim and rio that is 55 percent this is the total of kim and rio so kino is paying the rest which is 100 percent take away 55 percent you can do this example in different ways which is 45 percent now the question is what fraction is left for Kino to pay, not percent, but fraction. So 45% is 45 out of 100. 
So what can you divide? What goes in 45 and 100? So well, you can divide both by 5. So this is 45 divided by 5 is 9, and this is 9 out of 20. So as a fraction, he is paying. <laughs> excuse me, 9 out of 20 uh, as of the petrol expense. Okay, let us look at this question. What is for 58% of 40? Now, I want to do this without a calculator. So, I like to do this uh, like this. So, we want to find 50, 58%. So, uh, what is 50%? You can do this in different ways. 50% of 14 is half. It's the same as asking what is half of 14. That is 7. Now I want to find the 8%. Okay. So what is 100% of 14? 100% of 14 is 14. So 1% of 14 would be 100th of this would be 14 out of 100, which is 0 0.14. So 1%, 14 divided by 100, I hope you understand this, 0 0.14. 1% is 0 0.14. So what is 2%? 2% would be 0 0.28. 2 percent two percent would be 0 28 okay Then what will be 4%? 4 percent 4 percent would be double of this, which is 0 0.56. And then you can say 8%. You can I'll show this in a different way. 8% is double of this. So 0.56 plus 0.56. So you line up the decimals. So this is 6 plus 6 is 12. Uh, carry over 1. So this is 10, 11. So 1 1.12. So 8% is 1.12. So let me change color. So we know 50% is, we saw 50% is 7, and 8% is, how much? 8% is 1.12. So 58% would be uh, 8.12. Okay, if, uh, if to do this in a different way, Okay, so to do this in a different way, you can also do like this. How can we do? So if 10%, so let us do in a different way. Good, always to understand. So you want to find 58% of 14. Okay, so a good starting point is to find 10%. Okay, so 10% of 14, when someone is asking, it is one tenth of 14. One tenth of 14 is 1.4 okay so if one tenth is 4 uh, you can find 60 percent okay so let us find uh, 50 percent okay 50 percent 50 percent is we saw 50 percent of 14 is 7 okay and 10 percent is 1.4 I'm doing in different ways so that you understand what is percent so 60 percent you can say is 8.4 so this is 7.0 so we saw 1 percent is 0 0.14 so 2 percent would be 0 0.28 so if you take away 2 percent from 60 percent so this is 0. To eight, you can put a. This is zero is a placeholder. So fifty-eight percent in a different way is this minus this. So this is two. So I'll use the traditional way. You can. Uh, this is you can take three. So this becomes ten. Ten take away eight is two, one, and seven point one two. We have done this in a different way, and. Uh, Oh, sorry, it's 8, so it's always good to check. I didn't borrow from here, so this is 8.12 in a different way I have done this. Okay, let us look at one more question. Tulip sends 480 text a month, 300 of, 300 of those to her best friend. What percentage of a text are to her best friend? 
so this is 300 out of 480 you want to find you want to write as a percent so that is nothing but 30 out of 48 you can cancel these you're dividing both by 10 so what goes in 30 and 48 so well 30 you can divide by 6 and 48 you also can divide by 6 so this becomes 5 out of uh, 6 times 8 is 48 so 5 8 is am I right so yeah so this I'm going to divide this as 2.5 I'm having both of them out of 4 so 2.5 out of 4 now this I want to change this as uh, I want to change this as a hundred so 25 4 times 25 is 100 so if you multiply the denominator with 100 25 you have to also multiply that numerator with 25 so I know 25 times 25 is 625 and here this is one this is a number with one decimal place or they got one number after the decimal point so you have to put 62.5 out of 100 which is 62.5 percent okay to do this in a different way if you know 1 8 1 8 as a percent is 12.5 percent 1 8 is 12.5 percent now how do I know that because I know a quarter is 25 percent so if a quarter is 25 percent 1 8 is a half of a quarter so half of 25 is 25 percent is 12.5 so if 1 8 if you can know if you know is 12.5 percent okay so 5 8 would be 12.5 times 5 12 because 5 8 is 5 times of 1 8 so I don't know 12.5 times 5 so how will I do so this is 12 and a half times 5 so this so I'll go 12 times 5 is 60 uh, this would be this is 12.5 percent so this is also percent this is also percent so 12 so yeah i'll write the answer 12 times 5 is 60 and half times 5 so you're multiplying 12 with 5 and half with 5 so half with 5 is 2.5 so you can say uh, 5 8 as a frac as a decimal as a uh, percentage is 62.5 percent